Hello you guys, and welcome back! Today we're going to be moving on to our second walkthrough for Dragon Age Inquisitions. It's not going to be almost 200 parts like the first <laughs> the first walkthrough was, uh, but here we need to start in the tapestry because I want to go through some of the story line things. Um, now, we didn't even get to see Alistair or Queen Nora in our last playthrough, so hopefully we can see them this time. I think I have most of the stuff set up here, uh, so we'll just go ahead and go through a little bit of the backstory. Uh, we are choosing the same characters that we had before, which doesn't really matter uh, because they don't make an appearance anyway, the Warden doesn't. So the Warden is alive and well. We're using Morgan from my save file, uh, Morgan Kuzlin, who is... Wait, that was an archer. I want to choose Morgan Kuzlin. Oh, we were a rogue. Interesting. Okay, so our companions, we romanced Alistair and recruited the dog. We had... Alistair execute Loghain after he took the throne. We persuaded Revere Mother Free Sten. Sten is alive. Ogren's there. Zevran's alive and well. Uh, the warden is Alistair's queen. Let's see, Alistair became king. Morgan had old god baby with Alistair. We uh, recovered the grimoire peacefully from Flemeth, and Liliana is alive and well. So, that is companions. I don't really think these have anything to do with the story. Like I said, we're just going through very quickly, so we're not going to poison the urn. I'm not that kind of jerk. We helped Redcliffe and helped Redcliffe repair. Let's see. Connor's alive and not possessed, and Isold is alive, or she wasn't in the last one, but that didn't have anything to do with anything. Oh, it's really odd how some of these just didn't matter in Inquisition. So we saved the Hala, returned Dagon to the Dalish camp. Brought Verathorn uh, Iron Bark. Oh, that's when we got the Iron Bark back. Brokered Peace. Now it's nice because a lot of these we don't have to go back through. Defeated Bronca. Dag Dagna went to the Mages. Uh, the circle of magi. I wonder what happens if she wouldn't. I wonder who would become the person in the skyhold. Uh, <laughs> killed Ruck. Balin rules Orzammar. And that looks like that's good for that part of the story. The broken circle. Irving survived. Did not agree to Cullen's request. We would never kill the mages just because some of them were possessed. Alistair and the Warden rule in Denerim. In the Battle of Denerim, the Warden killed the Archdemon. I guess it doesn't really matter who killed the Archdemon, does it? Morgan had an old god BB. Oh, so Morgan did not. No, we want to keep where she gets before she has the baby. Oh, the baby. And Awakening, which I still think the architect has something to do with being Corypheus. Because look at how similar they look. And we're good there. I will be uploading on YouTube the video that comes after this whole thing. This whole mamajama. Did not go through the Illuvian. 
went through, or the Warden Stab Morrigan. We're not gonna go through the Alluvian. Although I would have loved to see what happened there. And that doesn't matter now. Dragon Age, I think everything is done for Dragon Age 2. We were diplomatic. We have Morgan the Mage. Blood Mage. We romanced Alistair. Friends with Varric. Okay. Helped Varric discover cause of haunting. Varric did not keep the Red Lyrium idle. Oh, I really want to change this just because I know it changes some dialogue in the story. Hmm. But I think it was like a good, like a heroic thing to keep him away from the Red Lyrium idol. Yeah, we won't, we won't let him get possessed. And... Meryl did not destroy the Alluvian, I let her uh, finish it. Clan was not killed, didn't recruit Sebastian. Uh, see, I don't know. Talus, I never played that DLC with those two. Fought against the Templars. Uh, Return Seamus to the Viscount. Okay. Looking good there. I know that they've been adding a lot to the tapestry or to the keep. Killed Arishok. Didn't kill Gascard. I wonder if he's going to make an appearance some point. Act 3. Let Karen go. Okay, so he was the one, I believe, that was a possessed by the demon. But we killed the demon. Hannon can spear... Oh, the conspirators to Orsino. Okay, so it looks like we sided with Orsino. And then Inquisition is coming soon. Let's go ahead and export. I, ha I have it saved as a personal game. Export. Yes. So now when we go to play uh, Inquisition, we should be able to keep all of the dis decisions uh, sent over. So, um, yeah, uh, go ahead and uh, this is for those of you on YouTube, not on Twitch. I will be putting a link in the description below or you'll see the upload of the whole tapestry play out if you would like to see that. And I hope to see you in the next video where we start Dragon Age Inquisition Walkthrough 2. See you guys then. Stay tuned.